Welcome back to Tarot by the Bay. I'm David. Um, I had a question that came in uh, today, Sunday, but I'll put this video up later on in the week, though. Um, with regards to the Secret Service, yeah, I think it's a pretty good question. It's uh, one of, that's piqued my interest. You know, what are the Secret Service doing with Donald Trump? Now, the Secret Service, basically, they're there to make sure the president is kept safe. In this case, the ex-president is kept safe. You don't want your ex-presidents or ex-VPs to be kidnapped and held for ransom because they have a lot of information and that would be bad for uh, the security of the state. So Secret Service details are assigned to former presidents and Trump has a Secret Service detail. However, you can imagine that Trump is unlike any other president before where not only do they have to keep him safe, but they have to keep the U.S. safe too. So I'm curious, what can you tell us about the Secret Service's surveillance of Donald Trump? Are they watching him to make sure he's not leaking information to other countries? What can you describe about the current situation that the Secret Service finds themselves in as they watch over Donald Trump? For entertainment purposes only. Um, this is not a MAGA friendly channel. So if you're a MAGA fanatic and think Donald Trump was the greatest president ever and you think that the Social Security is perfectly loyal to him, this reading will be quite a shock for you. Matter of fact, it might be so shocking that you may not want to watch it because it's just going to aggravate you. But if you want some insight, stick around. Let's see what we find out together. Because I don't know. I don't, I don't know what the cards are. But let's go ahead and look. Well, we've got the magician card, so already they're watching Donald to see what he's going to do next. All right, what's the Secret Service doing? Okay, this is the situation with Donald Trump. Okay, so they're keeping an eye on him. I'm gonna move this back a little bit. They keep an eye on him. They stay a little bit back, but they're keeping an eye on him as in everything that's going along in Trump world with Donald Trump. And they're watching who he's making deals with, who he's talking to, you know, um, they're watching the comings and goings and the relationships that are involved with, uh, with President Trump or former President Trump here. In the past, um, <laughs> I, I don't want to say <laughs> to whoever drew the shortest straw got to be on his detail. Uh, there were plenty of Secret Service agents, I'm sure, that wanted to be on that detail. But I think after January 6th, uh, I would assume the Secret Service has been cycling out um, Secret Service agents who were a bit too fanatical and MAGA and were putting Donald Trump ahead of country. Uh, and now the secrets are, you know, in some ways, <laughs> again, not the shortest straw who had to get to this, but it's something that the Secret Service doesn't necessarily want to do. That's not their job. Their job isn't to be spying on him. Their job is to be protecting him. But they are being told what they need to do. They don't like it. This is not what they are. This is not what they're paid to do. It seems overly political, but it's what needs to be done because this man is unlike any other president. And as we see with the Mar-a-Lago document cases, there is some real concern that he's a traitor to this country. And so they've got to watch him whether they like it or not. They, the moon card, uh, they're watching the comings and goings. They may not know everything. They might be kept very isolated. The individual um, agents are probably isolated in a box. Uh, they report stuff and they don't get a lot of feedback. So they're kind of operating in the dark. And you can think of this as compartmentalizing information. You don't want the Secret Service agents to know too much because if they know too much, then all of a sudden they're at risk because they know too much. So... They kind of have to work in the dark a little bit, which I imagine is frustrating to them because that's not what they're supposed to be doing. And it's difficult because they don't know what they're looking for, but they have to be looking for it. But they're up to the task. 
they are <laughs> they're the mastery over the lion. I think of the lion as being Donald Trump, and they're forcing the pill down his throat. So overarching energy, they're showing the strength and the mastery in this task that they normally wouldn't be doing. Despite the fact that they don't want to do it and they're working in the dark, they're still really good at what they do. The lesson to be learned is the King of Cups. Um, probably what they're finding out is a little bit more about themselves and their emotional maturity. You know, they're not just brutes who are out there protecting the president. Now they kind of have to be the adult in the room and they're probably seeing Trump as the child in the room, even though he's an adult. Outcome, Page of Swords. A lot of people use this as the spy in the camp. They are the spy in the camp for Donald Trump. They are the ones who are supplying the information back to the DOJ. Um, underneath it all is the Page of Cups. I think basically, again, they were asked to do something that they aren't trained to do. But it's what needed to be done to get the information that we need from the government. Not from the government, to the government regarding Donald Trump. Okay. Has Donald Trump, are they concerned? Okay, I wanna throw this one out there. Are they concerned about Donald Trump trying to flee? Are they actively watching Donald to make sure that he's fleeing? Actually, you know what, the first thing I wanna ask is, what do they think of him? Little Four Carter, Generally speaking, but the men on his detail, what are their opinions of Donald Trump? Their personal opinions. Obviously, shouldn't have impact their professional work, but what are their personal opinions of him? Not any one particular, just as a collective. What are their personal opinions of Donald? You know, they're, they're seeing him post, uh, post-presidency. post they're, they're watching his dealings. They're keeping an eye on him. What are their, what are their opinions of his post-presidency? behaviors. What are their thoughts on that? Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> are they stuck or is he stuck? Let's see. All right. I think what they're seeing here with Donald is, oh yeah, here we go, this is it. He's a victim in his own mind. He thinks he's a hostage, uh, he's a victim, everybody else is to blame for his horrible situation. But again, this woman in this, in this card, she's not tied to anything. She could cut her bonds, take off her blindfold and leave that situation. But he's the victim. I'm a victim, I'm a victim, I'm a victim. And, you know, he's at the end of his, he's at the end of his journey. He's reaching out across the world, uh, letting anybody, anybody in the world know that he's, the whole world know that he's a victim on that one. Um, I think they watch him, they're watching for him to, well, this is their impression of him. He's somebody who's out there trying to trade things of value. And I don't necessarily mean in a business sense. All right. So I think in some ways they know that he's been trading things of value that he's not supposed to be doing. And he's constantly evaluating what he has. This is probably related to the documents case. You know, they don't know where those documents are because he's got them hidden, but they know he's evaluating and they know he's trading. And, um, this is a man that's under a lot of pressure and a lot of burden to what he's got uh, going on in his life. It's probably a hard job, too, to watch over him. Do they have to, uh, do they know anything about him trading secrets? Do they know anything about him trading secrets? Have they been able to provide information to the DOJ with regards to, like, the Mar-a-Lago documents case? I'm going to ask if they are also watching him for him to flee. But do they know about his doc, the documents case? Do they know about secrets that he may have traded? Is that what that Knight of Pentacles was? 
let's find out. A lot of these cards are just just right on the verge of jumping out. Okay, here we go. All right. Are they watching for him on the documents case? Oh, it's a nightmare. Is that offers again? Oh dear. Okay. Um do they know about the documents case? Yeah, they know about the documents case. They cannot believe what's been happening with this. It's their worst nightmare because, you know, um, here he is. Here's the apprentice just grinding away, making money on stuff like that, going forward with offers and bringing the downfall of, you know, not the country, but this could be his own personal downfall. And reach, you know, and it implies that the Republican Party is involved with it. So what do we got here? Do they know about his involvement with the Mar-a-Lago documents case? Um, I would say they know he's stressed out beyond belief with this. They know it, this is a nightmare scenario. Trump's under there just working away, trying to make money, doing the money thing. But he's also reaching out to people reaching out for offers, reaching out to make deals because he knows the end is coming. And he'll do anything to escape, to, to go off into the sunset. He's currently in this, but this is what he wants. He wants to get out of this deal. So do they know about it? I'd say they do. They certainly can see the stress that the man's under. And a lot of information is coming out about What's going on? You know, they, they're going to know enough. They're going to know that uh, that box has got moved. And they're going to know about this audio tape of, of Trump. And, you know, even ones that were pro-Trump, as long as they're pro-America and not MAGA fanatics, they're going to know who this guy for who he is. Are they also watching to see if he's going to flee the country? Are they also watching to see if he's going to flee the country? For entertainment purposes only, of course, because this is an entertainment channel. I'm just some random dude with blue glasses <laughs> reading blue-backed cards on the interwebs. Okay, what about fleeing the country? Are they taking steps? Are they watching him for that? Are they taking active steps to prevent him from fleeing the country? All right, find out. Star card. Is the signifier, are they taking steps? We will see. Okay. Um, underneath it all, yeah, they're taking steps. Um, they have to watch everything that he does and react accordingly to uh, everything that Trump is doing. Because, you know, um, say the star witness, but, and, or everything revolves around Trump, but he is their world right now. They have to watch him like a hawk and they have to watch everything he does because he would be an incredibly valuable asset to a foreign government. So, you know, former president and He's somebody who would be of extreme value to somebody else. So they have to constantly watch. They have to sort of predict what he might do and, you know, take steps to be a step ahead of him. Uh, they know that if he gets out, it's going to cause a lot of damage. So they have to be very proactive. They have to constantly be on him and basically tell him no. Not no, sir. Just, no. well, they might answer to it, but it's going to be no. So, yeah, I think they are watching him because they know the consequences of not watching him are too great. Okay. So that's my uh, take on the Secret Service and Donald Trump. They don't want to do the job, but they're doing a really good job on something that they don't want to do. And uh, they are watching uh, the deals that he's making and they are watching to make sure he doesn't flee the country. So I think the Secret Service is doing their job. That's my thought on that. Okay, so I hope uh, you enjoyed this reading. I hope this puts your mind a little bit at ease that 
his Secret Service detail isn't just a bunch of uh, lackeys and henchmen that they're actually working for us. And, you know, again, for entertainment purposes only. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Thank you very much for supporting my channel. Keep throwing questions on the community page and I'll keep throwing answers out there for you. Have a great evening and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.